Yeah. <laughs> What's good, y'all, man? We back at it with uh, the same episode, but just part two, man. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, y'all don't know by now. I got my main man with me right here. And I'm your main man right here, Jalen GV and Confusion, man. Welcome to the GV podcast. If y'all new, just make sure y'all subscribe and uh, just comment down below what y'all want to see next and just you know engage with us, man. Let us know what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? But this part, the reason we did part two, we did two parts because this part, this episode is going to be strictly just our life experiences and just kind of like stories. We're going to give y'all like a story time because I feel like y'all don't really know us too well yet. Y'all don't know our personalities. You feel me? You probably getting it, but I feel like, well, I, I hope these stories y'all don't judge us, bro, because at least my stories are coming from the past. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we just want y'all to kind of get a feel of where we're coming from on one of some of our topics and just our ideals of these topics, you know what I'm saying? So we're just going to give y'all some backstories, and uh, hope y'all enjoy it, man. Oh, hell no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Got to commend you for the intro. I got to commend you for the intro, man. I, I see the progress. Yeah. Look, yeah, man. A little enhancement outside, <laughs> might, a little enhancement outside might have helped, but, you know. Nah, nah, nah not even, nah, I see the, I see the growth, man. I see the growth, man. He trying to go places, man. <laughs> hey man, say man, appreciate that, my brother. Appreciate that, my brother. But we had to make this episode a good one because this is the one where we're gonna tell our stories, man. And the first story I want to share with y'all, man, is uh, a time. I'm gonna take y'all back in time where, uh, <sighs> damn, how 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 far back do we take them? Ink, like, do we take them back to like? Damn, we're not even out. Oh yeah, bro, I was gonna say like ten years, but ten years, that's. 14, bro. <laughs> not going to take y'all back that far, man. But I'm going to tell y'all a time where I got my heart broke. I'm going to start there. Let's start there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, first kiss. First kiss. Well, we could, we, we could start there, too. Let's start. Let's bring it back to Ellen. Make sure y'all what made Jalen GB a man. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, so hell no. This happened. <laughs> this was um, Ellen. Make sure I believe it was uh, fifth or sixth grade. I, had, I, I I could say her name because she probably I probably would never see her in life again. Uh, her name was also also Senna. Uh, I know it's a crazy name, but I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, bro. But uh, yeah, man, it was Sukihana. A little... Nah, nah, he <laughs> said Sukihana. He said Naruto. Uh, nah, he <laughs> <laughs> don't say Sasuke. Yeah, but uh, nah, it was her name was like Su Asu Senna. As- also Santa, also, also Santa. Also. All right, this. All right. Yeah, but anyways, bro. <laughs> you can probably know by name. Man. You can probably guess her race, man. A little Latina shorty, a little Latina John. Nah, I couldn't guess uh, that, bro. Damn. But yeah, it was like a little Latina <laughs> John, man. Uh, I had grabbed her number. I think it was like my fifth grade. Nah, I think it was. It might be my. Damn, might be younger than that, bro. Sheesh. But anyways, bro, it was an LMA. That's all I'm gonna say. And prior to us having our first kiss, right? I grabbed her number in the summertime, and this is when landlines were still a thing, so I used to always just call the landline, her mom or whoever else in the house answered. I'm like, hey, so I was sending her around. They're like, yeah, put her on the phone. So we just chopped it up all summertime, and uh, when school started, I uh, asked her to be my girlfriend, and um, she agreed, you know what I'm saying? She agreed to it. And one day at recess, um, one day at recess, she, uh, what the fuck did happen, bro? This was a while back, bro. Uh, one day recess, now it wasn't even her that like idea, it was just people around us because they knew we was like together and shit. So they were like, Y'all ain't even kiss yet. They were like, making fun of us and shit. So then we was at recess one day in the little bark area where the slides and shit is. So we just, you know, filming a little pet. We was just like, Mack it, you know what I'm saying? Something quick. And I thought, like, we had sex at that time, you know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking I'm the man walking around, like, you know that song? Like, I didn't feel like the man when I worked through. <laughs> yeah. Like, that would have came yes. back back then. That would have been my theme song, bro, for the rest of the school year. But uh, that ended bad, though, because she ended up dating one of the homies. And uh, after that. You yeah. talking about that in fifth grade? Yeah. She ended up dating, we broke up. She ended up dating one of the other homies. And, uh. I yeah. thought that peck was something. It's getting serious now. Yeah, I thought that peck was something, <laughs> man. They start doing more than that peck. Not, 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 not sex, but you know, as far as kissing wise, you know what I'm saying. They brought the French in, you know what I'm saying. So that, I thought the peck was cool, but yeah. You seen it with your eyes? Nah, did I? I might have, bro. I might have. I might have, bro. Is he? So you never did? 
I never did what? See, see with my eyes? Yeah. I see them, I see them kiss with my eyes, but I, don't, I ain't see the French and all that. Oh, okay, okay. But I for sure so see them kiss my eyes, for sure, yeah, yeah. Because right. we was in class. Damn, why do I don't remember this Probably so fucking felt, visually, bro? Like, what the fuck? Probably felt bad, huh? All right. Like a motherfucker, boy. I was, uh, we was in class, and uh, they were even part of the story, but I was just lying to y'all real quick, bro. Why? I don't fuck with these bitches, bro, but... uh. Anyways, man, we was in class, man, we was watching a little movie. As soon as the lights cut off, you know how they be turn on the teachers turn off the lights, watch the movie, a little TV in class. As soon as the lights turn off, look to my left. I get, I'm like, damn, these motherfuckers are like trying to kiss and shit, lights off and shit. We was all in the same class. I'm like, damn. But that was just my experience with my first kiss since uh, you know, we brought it up there, but that was Y'all don't want to hear that. Y'all want to hear the juicy shit. Y'all want to hear that. <laughs> yeah, we just fuck with y'all right now. You know what I'm saying? We getting a little... <laughs> what was your first kiss, though, brother? I'm curious. What was your... Do you remember your story? This shit is kind of funny, though. Like, yeah. th- I had mine's... I was a late bloomer. Like, late bloomer. Okay. Yeah. This shit happened... High school. First kiss in high school. A lot of me, In brother. the summertime. So, actually going into sophomore. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> no, like, damn, like, no, no, man, like on some like focus, brother. He I was, was focused. focused. I was shy too. I wasn't like but it's done I was chilling, bro. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I was mad, but you know, I was like, uh, it's gonna happen eventually. Exactly. So it happened and it was just like I I see why she never came back. It was only it only lasted a week, you know what I'm saying? <gasps> so well, I, what's really happen, bro? I was just just before practice, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a mutual attraction, you know what I'm saying? It was this is when Instagram was just coming up and shit, so it's like that's how it happened. So I got that. I gotta explain how I really got it, but you know what I'm saying? It just happened before practice and then it was a little peck and shit and I guess I didn't know how to do it for real. She probably wanted a little bit more cause she in high school and I'm you know, yeah. did my first time. <laughs> Nah, that's a, I, I could relate to that, brother. I could yeah, relate so, to that. you know, it was it lasted a week because, like, I had practice all week. So, like, yeah. day four of practice, mind you, I'm kissing her, like, before practice, like, yeah. day three, day two, <laughs> day one. Yeah. Now it's, like, day four. Before practice, she's just, like, looking at me probably, like, oh, this nigga probably wants to kiss a lot. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and I was like, yeah, like. <laughs> I never had it, you know what I'm That's saying? That's how time he was on, yeah. Yeah, so it, it, it's kind of embarrassing for me, but it's funny to look at because, like, that's where a nigga head was at. Like, you wasn't even thinking about. I wasn't even thinking about her. I wasn't, wasn't even thinking about, about like, talking about, like, I wasn't, I ain't had no vehicle. I wasn't really taking the bus like that. I was yeah. really just like, if I see you, I see you. Oh, yeah. It, it was before practice, bro. So I didn't like it. Never really got that far. It only lasted a week, bro. It just felt uh, like a long ass time. But yeah. Felt like a continue. It felt like a continued first kiss. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, that's how I felt with the uh, fucking in middle school, bro. Like I know, like I don't know if she wanted more than that, bro. But we just like always just pecked and shit, bro. And it was like at that time, I was like, I was like used to. You feel me? But yeah, that's they get old. Yeah, Somebody else can do sure. that shit yeah, yeah. easily. And you then, know, if you're looking for a little bit more, man, I don't want no rookies, you know what I'm saying? I did not want rookies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah. You learned that early. For sure, man. For sure, man. But let's uh, bring up some heartbreaks, man. I know y'all got some heartbreak stories, man. So I'm going to take y'all to a time where uh, I was really hurt. I'm not going to lie. I was really hurt. I'm going to bring this up because it's kind of funny. I'm thinking about it now. Cause I was doing a lot of fuckery too. I was doing a lot of green shit, but I was legit back then, man. So shit happens, you know what I'm saying? But you know the time where I was dating, you know who? Uh, back in high school, you know, back in high school, um, I was dating this girl, and we was together freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, and like junior year. That's what this when all this shit happened. Y'all know, you know the junior SATs. This is the junior SATs. The uh, you got you're you got like senior. the test and shit. Senior. It's senior year for the SAT. I don't even remember. It might have been the SAT, then it might have been. It was definitely junior year. Though, cause I was single my senior year. Uh, so yeah, my junior year, man. Um, we was taking tests, and I don't know if it was SAT, but it was some like like state test where you gotta you know take time, you gotta take the test and shit. Uh, we was taking tests, man, and uh, me and my girl went on a break, and during that break. 
she did some green shit. You know what I'm saying? Like green shit, I mean she fucked another nigga. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's red shit. Green shit means the red shit. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. My bad. You good, you good, you good, brother, you good. But anyways, man, she did. Up, chef. For sure. She, 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 uh, reason I found out, cause she told me, you know what I'm saying? When we was testing, she was like, hey, I gotta call you, I tell you something, I'm freaking out. So I'm like, I raise my hand. While I'm on my phone, let's start there. While I'm on my phone when we testing, I don't know, man. I know I'm a slick guy. But <laughs> anyways, man, she hit my phone, told me like call her and shit. So I'm like, raise my hand, teach her how to use the restroom, went to the restroom, called her. She on the phone crying. She said, I can't hold it in no more. I was like, what happened? I fucked. Bloop. I'm like, she didn't say it like that. She's like, I had sex with, um, yeah. She's like, uh, I didn't mean to. And like, all this, you know, females. It was an accident. Come on, accident. Yeah, yeah. How you accidentally fuck somebody? <laughs> Let's start there. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyways, nah, man, uh, she hit me with that, bro. man. I was just I was just mute, man. And I was like, uh, I forgot what I said, truthfully. Cause I was like kind of furious in that moment, so I, I forgot what I told her back. But then I just know that feeling. Coming out the bathroom, eyes a little teary, you know, so I ain't cry. Never cry about no bitch. But Terry died, Terry died, Terry died, Terry died. I was right. definitely Terry died. I was her like a motherfucker, bro. This was my girlfriend for like three years. We talking about you going about to go to colleges together. We talking about the future, you know what I'm saying? So I thought we was going to be rocking for a minute. And I genuinely did have feelings for this girl. And like a lot of people ask me, did I cheat? Never cheated on this girl once. I did some green shit, but I never went through with it. Never. Almost did, but never, ever, ever went through with it, man. I guess you could say if you if you consider talking to vicious, texting them, cheating, and yeah, I like cheated. I never had the did the act of cheating, if that makes sense. At least my act of cheating, man, which is sex, but um, <laughs> <laughs> physical touch in that matter. Right. Um, but anyways, man, I feel walking back to class, bro. After she told me that shit, bro, I walked back, eyes teary and shit, and it's in the uh, the bungalows, bro. So you know that bathroom right by the yeah the little whoop. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I'm right there. Eyes teary, I come back, just quiet, mute. And he starts to me, what's wrong, bro? What's wrong? I'm just looking like that, bro. Straight face, I'm looking down. Laying like this, going crazy. And uh shaking and shit. Yeah, man. man. They're like, what's crazy. wrong? I didn't tell nobody until so I just like, bro, I'm not feeling it, bro. I got some news and shit. So everyone thought like some like someone died or something, something crazy. Nah, my bitch just fucked somebody, but uh <laughs> my girl, sorry for the B word, man. But <laughs> Sorry, females, ladies, gentlemen, young boys, young shits. Uh, but yeah, I just remember that feeling, bro, going back to class, just hot, like hot, bro, because like, I knew she would, and it was just like, she did it. Like Maybe I manifested that shit, you know, because she always was like, other people are always telling me, like, hey, watch out for a dude, watch out for so-and-so, watch out for so-and-so, and... Uh, you know, I asked her about it, and she always say, hey, we're just friends. Uh, he used to like me. I don't like him. No, he's ugly and all this. And I guess you, I really can't be mad because we was on a break, and she did it, but it was the same point of the nigga she did it to. If it was somebody else, we would have probably still been together to this day. But Oh, yeah, that's how it is? It, it was just the nigga that she said she had no interest in at all. Yeah. So I'm like, maybe the rumors were right. Maybe that was fucking around. But... Honestly, I did take her back after that, but it just couldn't work out because it was always in the back of my mind, bro. So it's like I couldn't give her my, my all no more. You know, I was just half ass and everything. Half ass responses, half ass. Like, yeah, you know that point is done. Yeah. <laughs> my emotions was, of time. My, my emotion was involved. It was just strictly for the, you know, the whoops, you know what I'm saying? The little the, the deeds, man. Because at that point, I was just on some of my dog shit. And since that day, that molded me into a. To a demon, to a demon. Oh, uh, also you want to claim that? That is your um. That actually, that's your tag in um in uh, Elden Ring, right? Demon. Ain't that it? Yeah, yeah. Elden Ring, man, great game. So you, all right. So you claim that. And what made you to turn into a demon? Not made you turn into it. So what is the deviant act uh, that you uh, that you consider yourself like? Okay, I am demon. Well, after that, I just started uh. HBK, man, Shawn Michaels, heartbreak kid, man. Okay. I, was, I wasn't looking to break girls' hearts. 
Cause who who want to do that? Like purposely. you went through a phase of just like I just went through a phase on of, purpose. No, no, on purpose. I was I, I would never do that shit on purpose. It just happened. I just didn't care. I didn't care about none of these females' feelings. I just was like, you know what? I'm gonna focus on myself. I'm just gonna vibe. You know what I'm saying? Cause I didn't want never feel that feeling again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I felt that shit again. I ain't gonna. I'm gonna tell y'all that in a little bit, but uh, <laughs> never go through a girl's phone. <laughs> never. I don't give a fuck Ooh, how long y'all together. Just don't go through the phone, brother. Man, protect your phone. peace, man. Now, if you want, go through it, but just protect your peace. That's a different story for a later time. But uh, what turned me to a demon? How I did demon shit was just you know going around just. Talking to multiple females, having a roster of females, and uh, this was going into my senior year. Wow, I was coming with this mentality. Senior year, I was talking to a lot of females at the school, out of school, and then following up after the senior year, we went to U of A. You know, I went to U of A for a little bit. At U of A. <sighs> the dirty T, man, the dirty T, that's all I'm gonna say. They call it the dirty T for a reason. Right. There's nothing in that city but that school. Grown ups go to those college parties because there's no other party that's popping. U of A? Yeah. That's the only That's the only thing going on in Tucson, bro. They got one mall. Ten miles away from the school. <laughs> one movie theater. One mall. One little area, bro. It's, it's so dead in Tucson. If y'all if y'all watch this and y'all from U of A, you know what I'm talking about. They call it the dirty tea, but uh before I drive into the college stories, man, let me ask you this, brother. Cause we all, I feel like everyone had had a heartbreak moment, bro. Have you personally had a heartbreak moment where you feel hurt, betrayed? Yeah, yeah. But, well, I, so but it's do you like, want to share your story? You're about to mention something, though. Do you? you gonna I, was, I was gonna dive into college. That's. I just want to hear your heartbreaking story. If I go okay. into my oh, little, oh, you know what okay, I'm college, okay, okay. If I okay. go to the, the more recent years, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've had. Um, I'm trying to say which one? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's multiple, bro. I'm just saying, just right, say, your, first, your first. I'm heartbreak. trying to think of something that's like different. That is like not like an ordinary heartbreak. It's something that I can actually like teach somebody something. You know what I mean? Like in terms of like. No, we all Don't trust same. this t- th- this type of situation right here. Like this is a red flag, and you know it. Oh, yeah, put y'all on game. Put them on game, then, man. Put them on game. I could say one is like, do I want to go there? Cause that's nah. Let's but it's there. like you might as well. It's like, let's start there. <laughs> all right, so you be. <sighs> Let me see it. Dang, popping a little. Basically, Shorty had dude that she was messing with before me. Okay. So I just thought about it. it they already did the shit. I came in tag, boom, time went by, year passed. That's the first person that linked back with. And it's like I had already knew that that was going to happen. Yeah. But it was like I shouldn't have waited till like the sixth, seventh month mark to realize like oh she just doesn't care like i'm right next to her i could see a certain name pop up because i got lurking eyes like everybody does it like you i can like, tell uh, with the pre like previous relationships yeah. one i'm in like you can tell i have good peripheral vision <laughs> if i get a notification on my phone like i could see you looking at my shit right. so it's like if I'm in bed with you, that's even easier to see. Like, okay, I see a, a, an initial. I'm like, ah, like that's that better not be. And then it as Turned time went up. by, oh, he only sends stuff about weed and like you know shit like that. So I'm like, yeah. still like he knows who he's sending it to. But yeah. My fault, bro. But yeah, basically. Just kind of know a red flag when you see it. Like, don't let certain shit fly. Like, I'm saying, y'all probably wouldn't let that shit fly, but some of y'all probably will let some shit slide. So whenever you Definitely. feel some shit with your gut, and it's with your, your girl at least, like if you let her know, and then and then it becomes it turns into a defense mechanism of why are you getting on her, why are you press, 
and it's always that, then it's like that's red flag. For sure. You don't want to be in that situation. So For sure. I mean, like that's something that I feel like that's people have been through that and you know, it's it's not nothing extraordinary. Uh-huh. But I can just tell like I should have I should have peeped that shit out before I let the heartbreak happen. Yeah. Same here. You know, once a per, once a person loses patience for you, and then anything you like bring up, and it's not like happy shit, like and you kind of bring some shit up that doesn't correlate to her happiness. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of going against it. And look at that shit as a red flag, bro. You're not you're not being sensitive. You just want to know what's going on. That's it. That's facts. That's facts. Damn. Well, so I guess that goes into my story. Don't go through the girl's phone. <laughs> is this in college, like you was going to say? No, nah, this happened after college, man. But uh, to the college stories, man, to back, that back to my story when I was talking about demon. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What, told, what made us demons, man, because I know if you got with that shit, you probably went, you was on demon time for a little bit, I'm assuming, right? Yeah. Is that a bad assumption? It's not a bad assumption. You know what I'm saying? Usually when people get heartbroken, they tend to start breaking on their hearts. You know what I'm saying? It's a sad Sad circle of life, man. Uh, eye for eye, uh, leg for leg, head for head. You know what I'm playing, but uh, <laughs> um, nah. But yeah, man, college was a crazy <laughs> experience. If y'all know U of A, like I said, U of A was just it was nuts, man. Um, I didn't want to put these stories out, but I feel like I gotta put them out because it was just so crazy. So I'm gonna tell you, day one, college move-in day. Me and my roommate almost ran the train on a girl. Your roommate. First day we moved in. First night. Reason we didn't do it is because, damn, I hate saying it like this, bro, but I, I did I did my homework on that school. Me doing my homework on my Instagram, I found people that stay out there already. I go to the school. I follow them. So I already have some work lined up. Older girl, own apartment off campus, you know what I'm saying? Got the Range Rover. Not a Range Rover. Jeep. White Jeep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she might she might see this and be like, oh, this nigga's talking about me. Like, no, baby. I'm not even trying to give you that much credit. Cause you did some green shit too. I seen I seen what she posted in the what's it called, your close friends. And uh Yeah, I didn't like that. That's another thing. Too, I was a, man. I was a young shit though. What was you gonna say? That's no, just a red flag, low key. It's not a red flag, but the older I, I, I can get into that. So a red flag for what? Just having a close friend. Oh yeah. You know, relationship. You know yeah. what I mean? Like that's something you don't know yeah. until you ask. But I think back then they didn't even have no close friend. I think she posted on her story, bro. On IG. I don't even know if they had stories. She 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 posted it. Was it Snapchat? It was somewhere, bro. She was just talking shit. Not talking shit, but she was just like. I guess she was fucking with me and somebody else, but anyways, if I go, I'll go back to the- <laughs> damn, this shit got me thinking like, damn, all these feelings and shit. But uh, go back to the first one. I got off track. Going back to why I didn't run the train on a girl, my roommate. Um, I had some work lined up pretty much. Um, older girl off campus, hit her up. She came, picked me up. So I'm like, all right, y'all do y'all thing. Y'all got the room to yourself because you know, he was right there. I'm right there. I didn't want to watch that shit, or I didn't want to be in it. I almost was, but I'm like, nah, I got some work. <laughs> when it hit my work up Cause she been talking about Being freaky all summer So I'm like uh, She was older though She just fucked with me In my senior year So I'm like This bitch was a Predator What do you consider older One year She was a junior In college And I was About to be a freshman Or just Becoming a freshman But yeah So I was talking to her And I was like 17 She knew I was what, I was a senior About to graduate And shit though So I don't know But anyways Knocked those down day one Knocked those day down When she swooped me Knocked those down since we talking about her, I might as well talk about what happened with her, man. So the reason I said she did some green shit, some red shit, um, she posted on her story. I forgot if it was Snapchat or it had to be Snapchat. That's the only way to play stories back then. Um, was it 2018, 2019? Um, she posted some shit. I guess she was having sex with me and somebody else, right? She, had, she was just switching us out. And then she's doing a group chat with her friend. She's like, I really like Jay, but he's not good in the bed. Like, so and so, so I'm like, I saw that, and it just like 
this Damn. was um in a phone how did you see it like what she po- she screenshotted it and posted it the person the girl i was fucking with yeah she screenshotted it and posted it damn yeah damn yeah she hit you with it that. was on accident though because oh, she deleted okay, it okay, like okay. 30 minutes after but i already peeped it i seen that shit i was like wow yeah, you know that shit went viral in 30 minutes dog yeah went viral in my head bro for sure that was a <laughs> that was an ego killer like Oh yeah. I thought I was knocking them things down. I'm talking about bad in bed. I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it man, I was that. I was that. Um, another experience was I threw up yeah, I told you this though. I threw up on a girl while uh having sex. That was crazy too. Uh fellas. Get out there and uh you drinking and uh you're on the verge of blacking out. Don't don't do it. Just go to sleep, go. That's what I should have did. I try to do a two for one. Um, yeah. What, is that, what does that mean? I know that's a great question, man. I try to do a two for one. Hey, this is the old me, not the new me, lady. So y'all watching, I'm, I'm a good guy now. Um, but anyways, a two for one is where uh, you beat something down, you crush some, and then you try to crush another one that same night. And uh, I just got done from drinking wine and wine and dining and knocking something down, and I. Came back to the dorm and I was still ready for Mo. You know what I'm saying? So I hit up some work, had her come through. It's like two in the morning. I'm already on the verge of blacking out. I'm 18, so I can't even handle that much alcohol. You feel me? So oh, tough, bro. we we doing our thing. I pump faked a little bit. I'm like, ah. you feel me? She's like, you good? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm good. Did it again. We we uh you know going at it. I'm, ah. And then I came out. She's like, just go to the bathroom. Just just let it out so we could be good. I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm good. Third time's the charm. Here we come. Going at it. This time we actually went at it. You know what I'm saying? We, I'm, I'm fully in that motherfucker. Now I'm, huh, huh, huh. You know what I'm saying? Knocking them down. And then all of a sudden, that third time was no pump fake. Ah, all over the bitch. I'm like, damn. All over the female. I'm even calling her bitch. Because what she did after that, I, re- I respect that for life. No cap. But um, What did she do after that? Yeah, man. So I was, I, you would think she was gonna be like ill and all this and that. She was like understanding, like she wasn't mad. She didn't look mad at least, and she just kind of like took care of me. She was like, "Here, come here." She uh, undid my bed shit, threw that shit in the washer and shit. Then uh, walked me down to the shower, uh, put me in the shower, did all this shit, and then she's like, uh, "She's like, uh, I'll be outside." Showered up, finished up, walked me back to my room. Uh, put new sheets on the shit, laid me down, kissed me on my forehead, and left. Jesus. <laughs> I remember that shit thoroughly, bro. Kissed me on my forehead, and left, bro. But she legit walked me to the shower, cleaned me up, bro. Like I was a little baby, bro. She sunned you, nigga. Pretty much. Yeah. She, 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 you could say that. You could say that, bro. Hey, shout yeah. out to her, though. Shout out to her, life, man. She, she could have left your ass hanging. Like, and what sucks like, about her, bro, I don't remember her name, bro. I had her saved to my phone. That's four three. She was not four three, but it was a joke I had with her. Bro. Oh, that's great. So, oh yeah, you. you I did. was. I was. That was. I was on demon time back then. That's, okay. I had to say that's four three because that was a little joke, right? But like, you're short as shit. She used to be mad and shit because she wasn't short, but um, she was shorter than me. But uh, yeah, I tried to text her that morning. I was like, "Hey, thank you so much for uh for last night. I feel so bad. I'm trying to invite her out to dinner. She's like, let me. I'm gonna get you flowers and all this. Like, I I apologize. I'm trying to make it right. I'm like, cause she took care of me, so I'm like, I'm, I'm, I fuck with her after this. No response. Hit her up again. Like, hey, is everything cool? No response. Yeah, that's. <laughs> and then I was just I didn't stop seeing her around, bro. She was in the same dorms as me, so I just never seen her after that. Ever. I'm like, she didn't reply to me. And it was just, you know, I was her last night fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? She did all that just to, I, I, just to I, ghost a nigga. Uh, damn. It's like, I understand, but it's tough. Yeah. Tough situation, man. Do you regret it? Regret or throwing you, up or? You just, or you remember that experience as a W. Because I see it as a W, you know what I'm saying? Because you could tell it to, like, you know. It's that, a story. That's a funny ass it's story. It's a story, shit. man, but. It's it's an L, cause uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember oh, her name. I oh, actually don't remember what she looked like. Now I know what she looked like, bro. But I still have her number on my phone, bro. But it's as it's as four three, bro. 
Like, let me see if I still got it. That's so crazy. I'm not going to show y'all, man, like, but I'm just curious if I still have it. Because that man said 4 3. Look, so just say, no, I'm not lying. Can't you know what I'm saying? Marcus. Hold on. That's so you know it's not edited now, you know what I'm saying? Because it's the same context since college, you know what I'm saying? Oh, there it go. Or three. Crazy work, man. I might text it. FaceTime. It's FaceTime still, it's right still now. blue. FaceTime right now on the, on the pod? Nah, nah. Because how I move, y'all, if, 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 if a female cut me off, she's cut off. For life, like it's no double backs. Like if I, if I, especially if I chase you, and I still don't get you, there's gonna be a point where I chase so long, I'm at the stop sign now. Do I keep going, or do I just stop at the stop sign and just be done? And my way, of life, man. The only thing you should be chasing is chasing a better you. Money, of course, too, but you should always be chasing just a better version of yourself, man. That's the only thing you should right. be chasing, man. But yeah. yeah, man, college was crazy, bro. I uh, remember one time. Damn, I don't want to flood the show with my stories, brother. But um, nah. college, uh, yeah. Went to a frat house. Uh, this was, uh, I think, the first month of fucking school, bro. Went to a frat party. Fresh, How did your freshman year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Went to a frat house. Um, I don't know how me and the homie went up to the frat house because it was my roommate, but the frat house never let guys in unless you come with like 20 females. You know how hard that is. <laughs> so unless you got, yeah, 20 females weeks, you're not getting to a frat party. I don't know how me and, me and my roommate got in. We got in. Hella hoes. Hella just a lot of shit going on. I came in there. I'm a young guy from LA. I use that to my advantage because I know most of you motherfuckers, it's a lot of Caucasian. I was gonna say snow bunnies, but I'm gonna call it Caucasians, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of that in the frats. And that frat at least, you know what I'm saying? So they're like, Where you from? I automatically say LA. I don't say Long Beach. You know what I'm saying? Or SAC. Or Atlanta. I can say all that, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> right, right. I tell these bitches I'm from LA. So they assume LA. I'm Hollywood. I'm big time. And at that time, my Instagram was popping. You know, I don't know if you remember, it's a bucket. Oh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. they like, what's your Instagram and all this? It's a bucket. Who's it's a bucket? Boom. They see the, you feel me? They see the grams popping. So they like, yeah. the bitches start flocking, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> wow, it's a and that, uh, that, that, that kind of helped me out in college of being on Demon Time because that night, I probably, I wish I still had the photo because y'all probably think I cap. I'll put that shit right in the video, bro. I had a photo of me. It was like Hugh Hefner. That's how I felt, bro. Uh, the Playboy nigga, bro. I had it was just me in the middle. Another bunch of nobodies from right here, right here, like six of them. Three right here, three right here. I'm in the middle. And uh, yeah, they're just all on dick and shit, asking for shout outs and all this shit. I'm like, man, you gonna take this photo? I'm gonna post it. And that's it. Never posted it, bro, because I look drunk as fuck in that shit. I don't like, like my fit either. I like some cut-off shorts with some jean shorts with a long sleeve shirt on. It. Yeah, it was some I feel you, 2018 I feel shit. You yeah, yeah, so yeah. I wasn't proud of that, that fit, bro. And I'm like, <laughs> I think I had the KDs on, the KD sixes, bro. I don't know what I was talking about, uh, but hey, the man. KD sixes. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been the sevens. The one with the strap on. It might have been the yeah, sevens. The sevens. I know. You know, Kenny's talking about the, yeah. the polka dots. Yeah, those are my go tos, man. I miss them things, man. The but cut off <laughs> jeans, crazy. <laughs> you can't. But the cut off jeans, man. But yeah, man. That night, I got so drunk. Don't even remember what happened. But I tried to get back a girl from San Diego. I remember her, and it was Emily. Only some it's 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 crazy. <laughs> the ones I, the ones it's like the ones I fuck, I don't even remember the names, but the one I wanted to fuck, I remember their names so like visually, bro, like and it's it's crazy, bro. And I'm gonna tell y'all one story. That's too much. Cause it's like I could go all day with college, bro. It was just crazy times. But um I did somehow, um you know what a Mormon is? What it is, yeah, or what they like, kind of know of them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know of them. I just, and usually they're not supposed to have sex by like until marriage, right? So I'm, I'm, I said Mormon, Norman. Is it Norman or Mormon? I think it's a Mormon. Mormon. So I had it right. I believe so. It just sounds weird. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a Mormon. 
Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. So I went to a party, uh, back to a Mormon chick. Um, and I wish I still talked to her. She was actually generally pretty sweet. I, I fucked with her. I fucked a lot of shit up, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I fucked a lot of good shit up. But it's life. You know, life happens. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm dealing with this Mormon chick. Um, you know, man, she ain't let me hit for like a week, but I was persistent, very persistent. And then my roommate got with her friend, her best friend. So we always together. You know what I'm saying? And the one night, she made the bold choice to uh, stay with me in my dorm and let her, her friend and my roommate take off. Well, this is mine, you after we just got done drinking. So, you know, young jits, you know what I'm saying? Especially young me. I'm going to try to get in them pants. I'm not going to lie. You know what I'm saying? So I finessed my way into a Mormon chick's pants, man. And uh, that was amazing. I'm not going to lie. That was probably some of the greatest, greatest work I had. At that time. And, um, yeah, she did the same shit. Like, she left in the morning, kissed me on my forehead and shit. And it's just, like, tell them about females when they do that the night after. You know what I'm saying? It's just, like, I don't know. It felt good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, I was probably wondering, like, damn, if that was all that, well, how, how did you fuck that up? I fucked it up because um, I was doing YouTube at that time, you know? And uh, a couple channels was taken off. Me? I'm, I'm a go getter. Got a fake girlfriend. I post it on Snapchat. It's a bucket has a girlfriend now. No, oh, okay. <laughs> he was on it already. And after that, she saw the story. Then my roommate hit me up. She's like, "Bro, what did you tell her?" And I'm like, "What did you mean?" And he's like, "She said uh, she told her like his girl. Well, she's like her best friend. You know that you got a girlfriend and shit." I'm like, "Bro, it's for YouTube." She's like, "You better tell her that because she's freaking out." Try to tell her that. She was like, she didn't believe it and all this. She was like, nah, I'm just, I'm okay off you and all this. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? And uh, I'll never forget. I had her Netflix signed into my Xbox, bro. She kept telling me to log off, but niggas was broke. I never, I didn't have no one else to Netflix, bro. So I'm like, <laughs> fuck that. You put this shit on this Xbox. This is mine for life, baby. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so she like, she telling me like her parents can't watch TV and all this and that. Cause they only had the, they had the, like, you can't share it. So it's like, they have like the one where it's like two accounts or, you know what I'm saying? I'm always on it on the Xbox. You know what I'm saying? So. We can only get that motherfucker out. Dude. That <laughs> 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 motherfucker's asleep. <laughs> So they, they was mad they couldn't watch Netflix, bro. And I was just kind of, I just told her, like, okay, I'll, I'll do it. Then I never did it. And then that's that's funny point, shit. They changed the password on it, boy. I don't know why they didn't do that to begin with, but. They let time go by and be like, okay, let me change the password on this nick. She probably told the parents that it was her, one of her girlfriends. I don't think she said it was a guy. It was a big Oh, too. okay. So time went by and yeah. she was like, okay. Was probably like, yeah, she was like, okay. Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's probably why they didn't do it. She probably thought, okay, they don't want no beef with, you know what I'm saying, their daughter's bro. friends and shit, bro. But yeah, man, I forgot. <sighs> what was her name, dog? See, that's just sad, bro. I'm not even going to tell y'all, like, I'm out here just fucking everything and everybody, but at that time I was fucking a lot of people. Not, I ain't gonna say it like that because it sounds like hella cocky and shit. I'm, I'm, I'm a humble guy, very humble guy. But just at that time, I don't know. I, I was just him. I felt like him at least, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people I had majority sex with back then from 2018 to 19. I don't remember a lot of people's names. I do remember this one girl from Minnesota named by the name of Carly. Carly, if you ever do see this, stop in with your boy because. Just tap in with me, man. No cap. Uh, we got something to talk about. Yeah. Cause he putting the name drops. <laughs> I have to, bro. Cause man. now I'm just thinking, bro. Like going back into doing story times. Now I'm just thinking about all the shit that just happened that that year, that span. It was just. I mean, when you chase after it, the higher it's just a higher chance you get into some shit, bro. Yeah. I didn't even chase her though. She chased me, and then. It didn't even let me crush, brother. Like, I just want to know why. That's why I said just tap in because I'm just curious. Like, why didn't we work? You know what I'm saying? Not that I still want her or I want her because I, I seen her, like, a couple years after. What's it called? I seen her Instagram. I'm like, yeah, that's just a basic what's it called. But back then, she was, she was one of the ones, man. And the reason I got her because I didn't chase after her, bro. Me and my roommate, we was in different dorms, so we're going up the elevator in one dorm. 
she saw me in the dorm. Her friend, we walked we walked outside. Her friend chases us down. Like uh, she's like, oh, my friend thinks you're cute. What's your Instagram? Gave her my Instagram. Carly followed me. I'm like, damn. I didn't see her in the elevator. Link with them same bitches that night because the friend that ran up to me and my roommate, she thought my roommate was cute, light skinned nigga with curls. So, not saying that nigga was gonna pull, bro, but that, it was just bad, bro. You have me, I was brown skinned, you got that nigga light skinned. It was a crazy duo, bro. A crazy ass duo. <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah, man. So, he shot, he backed her, I backed a friend, and we just, that didn't work. I'm not even gonna go into that stories, but. If she ever do see this, for sure tap in with your boy. Um, <laughs> definitely, 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 definitely. And I want to finish this with the last college one before we switch. We switch topics, not topics, but different different lifespans and chapters of our lives. Um, a sorority. You know what a sorority is? Yeah. You know, sisterhood. So, this is a crazy one. Not crazy, but... Sorority is having like a kind of a thing, like a contest. All the sororities in the at the school is having like contests of uh, guys to be like the kind of like the king of the sorority type shit, like the, the man of the sorority, like not the man, but like kind of like yeah, the king or something like in the. That's crazy. Yeah, so I I, I never knew that. Yeah, I, I auditioned. It was it was it was. <laughs> <laughs> I know freshman, no little old man, eighteen man. Yeah, I was like fucking. 150 at that time, weight wise, bro. So I was like, just, you know, a little scrawny guy, man. Uh, had nothing but dreams and hopes, man. Uh, I auditioned, man. I was probably the youngest cat there, one of the juniors and seniors. And yeah, niggas doing magic mics for auditions. They was bringing girls down to, uh, you know, strip on them and shit. Mind these some niggas out the buff, you know what I'm saying? A lot of, man, ain't gonna cap, a lot of. Caucasians there, had one black dude there. They was doing these crazy little auditions, bro, when the time came. Damn, they had to audition. Was it something specific they had to do? Like or do whatever. Just... It was like you had to basically like perform. Though it was like it was like a week's worth of activities you had to do. The first week was uh, go chop it up with all the females in the house. That was cool. I went cut. That went that went solid because I, you know me, I was already. <laughs> That's I, all back, which is do. crazy, bro, because I'm like so antisocial now. Back then, I was just so social, bro. So all I had to do is just walk up to female, introduce yourself. I'm like, hey, I'm Jayla, you know what I'm saying? Introducing myself and all this and that. Grabbing Instagram. That's how I met the four three chick too from that sorority. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, uh, four three is crazy. The performance, <laughs> the performance shit. Because uh, we just had to take like photos. They posted us on their Instagram, so that was free cloud too. Well, on the sorority Instagram, so all the bitches like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bitches didn't have to vote for you pretty much. So it was, I lost too. But anyways, <laughs> the performance though, but for, IG for showing up after that because they posted it and then all the other sort of started copying in and all the bitches was like, oh, who's this? You know what I'm saying? So they took the photo. My photo was like, I had their, their little sign. It was like AXO and I had a basketball because I was like, still trying to hoop. You feel me? I was hooper. Well, shout out high school, I was hooper. But <laughs> so I had the basketball like this. I had the you, flag. Ain't, you said a lot of Caucasians was auditioning. Yeah, 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 performing. You had the one with the basketball. <laughs> that was my shot. I just went. I went. You can pick whatever prop, uh, whatever prop uh, you want. I so what the was the audition though, though? But but my performance, basically, bro, my performance to get there, bro. Everyone singing, doing all this. You know, what I said, like I said, my, my motherfucker stripped on girls. One motherfucker was singing. One motherfucker played the guitar. Me and my motherfucking roommate came in that motherfucker auditorium, <laughs> room full of bitches. I had roses and shit. I'm gonna paint the picture, man. So stage, all the females right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was a probably a packed house by like 125, 130 females. That's yeah. The first thing you had to do, they had all the guys lined up. They gave us. You uh, said a uh, hundred over a hundred. Oh yeah, definitely. Dang. Yeah, that was. I had balls, bro. Back then, bro. I had sheesh. Cause back now I would have been nervous as fuck. But back then, give me some weed and some drink. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm ready to go. But uh, for the first thing we had to do for the performance, oh, the day of, like the final shit. So they, they lined all of us up on stage. They gave us um what drink was it? Um, okay, y'all some drink damn, too. On the table, they gave us some drink, bro. They had a shotgun. It was a shotgun contest. I didn't know how to shotgun. I never shotgun. So you know me. What shotgun is like? You you. Uh, Oh, you poke just poked a hole in the shit, yeah, shit right? Check that motherfucker. This uh, was like a, it was like uh, a, um, doing that shit. 
This was a fucking Mike's Lemonade, bro. I'm chugging them things now. But back then, that shit, oh, my God. I was trying to chug that bitch. Popped that shit over, chugging that bitch. I'm like, niggas is killing that shit. I'm over there struggling. I'm like, damn. Oh, so you couldn't chug? That was chug- the first form. I couldn't chug it, bro. Mm. But I'm still, I'm 18, but I'm not used to drinking. Right, of course. <laughs> I'm actually going down. I'm like, oh, that shit burn like a motherfucker. Now I can chug a motherfucker two mics at that, bro. But, uh, I hear you. Yeah, I bro. You. So that was the first day I fucked up that. And the second one I fucked up as everyone, was, I tell you, everyone, you had the guitar, the stripper, the singer. Me and my roommate came out there and did a Just Bureau performance. I said, I want to do Baby. Because I knew, I knew, I knew my. I knew my, my audience. I knew how they looked. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go to Justin Bieber's song. So my cheesy, ball, corny ass, yeah, ass bro. This is nigga pick number one song. Number one yeah. song, baby. All right. So I had these roses, you know what I'm saying? Then I hear this. Dun, dun, dun. My roommate came out, and I had like the little... I don't even remember. I had like a little vest, like a little... Uh, I wore it on Halloween one time, a little red shit, like kind of varsity, but it was no sleeves. Uh, <laughs> I don't even remember it, but I had that on, bro. So it was basically like that a boy like a looking vest. like Bobby. Yeah, it was like a little vest. So I came in there with the vest on only, nothing else, took no shirt on under. So it was, dun, dun, dun. I said, dun, dun. you know what I'm saying? So, 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 so the beat was going. I started unbuckling the shit. And I said, <laughs> and as soon as, as, soon as, as, soon as, as soon as the vocals hit. I like pants on, of course, bro. But nah. it's, oh, oh the, did you, you had to have work? Yeah, because I was straight from from uh, coming right. from senior year hoops. So he was working out. He's doing. So I, I wasn't high him right now. I got a little gut, but uh, a little beard gut. But <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Damn, <laughs> ladies, I fell off." Uh, <laughs> but I also fell in, if you know what I'm saying. But um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. So we so. <laughs> <laughs> we start performing Justin Bieber, bro. Oh, we. I have roses, so I'm trying to find the pretty girls. The four, three girls talking to, she said, you better give me a rose, but I couldn't find her in the crowd. It's 120 females, so she got mad, and I found some nice, fine-ass lady in the crowd, <laughs> man. I must have walked up to her without a rose in the middle of the performance, gave that shit to her, and I was walking around the bitches like, oh, here's a rose. Oh, and so um, weak, yeah, so we was performing, baby. We was in shit dancing. I was running around like the little rows and shit, like this, like shit. Like I was like, <laughs> 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 dog, it was crazy, bro. And then uh, yeah, I was trying to do like real performance. I'm gonna go like this. I'll have everybody up. Uh, everyone started singing that shit because everyone was like, what the fuck? He came out here with some Justin Bieber. And then uh, yeah, man, I lost. Yeah. They gave it to the to the dude that was stripping, of course. But uh, I didn't like Magic Mike, not, like no Diddy. Like he was just like, no, nah, like he me? probably like, hey, was, really did it, and you yeah. just was coming in there. I was there coming and just coming like, around, yeah, like fuck it, <laughs> which I did, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but I, I I did lose, but they 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 said all the, like they said all the girls liked you. They said we'd love to always have you, so they gave me I could come in there anytime. They gave me a gift card. Uh, for like this place called Pete's, like some Mexican food. They gave me seventy five dollars gift card, so you know I took care of me for the month. But oh, for getting second place, yeah, you got second place. I don't right? know what place I didn't win. Oh, though. so they just but gave you a gift card. They fucked with me so much, especially the 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 head, like the head honcho girl, the girl. Uh, I forgot her name. She was like hello. She was like bossing everybody. Uh, she's like yeah. She's like come through anytime. Like your family here, they loved you. You come eat. You know what I'm saying? Chill, study, whatever you need to do. You have access to the house. I'm like, I didn't even win, but I have full access. I'm like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That performance did a little, you know what I'm saying? They probably just knew I was a young boy and I was the only nigga that, you know? Because I did tell them, I was a little nervous because I told them, they had like one of the questions that was like, uh, what's your most experience, like, embarrassing experiment or experience? I told them I couldn't get my dick hard, which was a lie because at that age, I was, what, what? <laughs> I wasn't off no drugs in high school, but I was getting that motherfucker up regardless. So it was, I was just trying to make up a crazy I story. So I'm like, it's different now, bro. Different now for sure, because now you got drinks in the factory. Nah, nah, of, nah. I'm saying, saying for me personally, like, Eddie Murphy said this shit, like, you fucking with a 16 year old dick versus 23 year old dick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That That's actually. Some people's different. Like some people, not experienced, so yeah. they can't get that way. 
Yeah. Now it's like it's a little different. So it's like Nah, I feel that. I feel <laughs> that. Nah, that's facts. That's facts. I ain't gonna tell my st- but you know. Yeah, they see yeah, they yeah, time where you couldn't you, get it up. No, I, yeah. Yeah. Perfect scenario, you know what I'm saying? Like it same bed, yeah. parents in the other room. I just the position then was just like, mm. Not nah, fucking with it. You know what in the saying? same room. That brings me back to <laughs> sheesh. It could have happened, yeah. but it was just a certain position in that I couldn't go in because she was trying to make no noise. Yeah. Parents in the other room. It's understandable. But a nigga like me, I didn't know how to do that position where we was in. So it's like. Nah, that's understandable, bro. Wow. That's when I was a young bull. Like, when I say like yeah, 18, you know, you know what I'm saying? Or something like that. Wow. I didn't want to tell her story, bro, but now you got me thinking. You said the parents in the same room, now brought me back to, uh, I'm sorry, love, I got to put this out there, but uh, I'm with my girl, you know, the girl for the three years, right? I told you this, but uh, her mom driving me home, you know? Um, while I'm in the back seat, uh, she uh, first lays in my lap, and then after she lays in my lap, mind you, her mom's in this seat. She's in the driver's seat. I'm sitting right behind her. She's right there in the back. So she just kept, like, just touching me. And then she just finally laid down. And I'm like, okay, she's just going, like, chill. This is in the car. Car, yeah. Her mom's driving me home. So, yeah. Uh, I thought she was just going to chill. Nope. She did not chill. She uh, whipped my shit out while her mom's driving and just start, yeah, giving me some, 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 some topping, you know. And uh, it was just weird. Like, weirdly, As, weirdly if good. If I was her like, parent, I'd be... Yeah, that's why oh, I, I, kept, I kept looking and shit. I'm like, uh, bro, what's going on? I'm like, bro, if we get caught, it's not on me. It's on you. <laughs> I'm just accepting it. You know Whoa. what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man, on the ride home, she, yeah. Yeah. Um, if you see this, um, tap in. Like, you got you to gotta talk too. I'm not going to cap. I'm not even going to say her name because that's a while back. But uh, yeah, if you see this. Definitely tap in with your boy. Cause I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm just curious on what made you do that. Cause now I'm thinking about it. Like, what what made you do that? Like, I blame her for turning me to a. I ain't gonna say I was, demon. Uh, nah, I was gonna say a freak. He was demon before. <laughs> I'm like Jay Nasty was Jay Nasty in high school though. But uh. they used to call this man Jay Nasty, bro. That is crazy that work. That is crazy, crazy work, bro. I'm literally was the exact. <laughs> <laughs> but you got your K-Nasty moments too now. Nah, Nick. <laughs> nah. <laughs> well, I was looked at as like, I had niggas tell me, you're the person that can date my sister. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, yeah, no one ever said that. Someone told you that? In high school? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? You knew it. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. Damn. Not really, but yeah. I, I would suggest you. I mean, or I would have thought you know. I've always was cuffed and everything. Yeah, you you was, you was definitely. I'm putting my word out there, man. Wholesome guy over here, man. Never changed. <laughs> Never changed, man. Little guy right here, man. Friendships and relationships, no cap. And confusion, ladies and gentlemen. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but confusion, man, you talking man. about like sisters? I remember I went to the club. Uh, this was more recent, bro. Uh, bagged the girl, but she was with her brother at the club, and uh, her brother dapped me up. He's like, "Yeah, you got her now." Let <laughs> <laughs> stay with that bitch the whole night. Like, God damn, well, nah, I was like thirty minutes, not dead, bro. But yeah, man, that shit's crazy. He just left me with her, and I'm like, "What am I gonna do?" You know. And she ended up not even being. That was a bad night, bro. Like, that was a very bad night because I was super drunk that night, and when I get super drunk. I just start like feeling like curry. If you look pretty, somewhat pretty, I'm at you. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that night I was uh Yeah, I struck a lot of uh I'll be honest with y'all, bro. I I'm an open book. Not an open book, so I'm, you know what I'm saying, but I'm gonna be honest with my uh I, I I struck out, bro. Not struck out, like I got the hose, but it was just like three, fours. Best was a six, maybe. I didn't get no no shit that was worth 
worth my while, pretty much, bro. It was awesome. Mid ass. Oh, so you chicks, was just bro. gone through. I was just going through it. Dang. I'm playing Jenga's with the big hoes. I'm dancing with the what's it called? I'm just everywhere, bro. And uh, yeah, man. That's why I don't like to get too drunk in the clubs because uh, when I'm feeling like that. Sometimes I just go crazy, man. <laughs> and I wake up in the morning, I got these Instagrams, I'm scrolling this shit. I'm like, ew, brother, no. What am I doing? Unfollow. Unfollow. Block. I'm blocking vicious numbers. I'm I'm not proud of myself. Put yourself in that morning. situation, man. But now, yeah, after that, I've been chill when I go to the club. I've been too chill. All right, unless I see the baddest. Baddest thing. Actually, I'm not even gonna say the baddest. If you don't, I'm not even gonna say too much, man, because I'm, I'm in a relationship right now, man, with uh, with God. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I don't do nothing too much no more. This all back then, by the way. No, he didn't. This all back then, man. I'm gonna change, man. I'm, you know, what I'm saying I'm chilling, but yeah, man. This boy. <sighs> All right, man. How far you should go back now, bro? Talk about the more recent years. I don't want to go back. None of that. I don't want to go back in the recent years. Because right, we got man. like three minutes. That's why. We do got three <laughs> minutes, huh? Well, I'm going to end this with the one story, man. I'm going to tell you. I'm just, I'm just going for the clips, honestly. <laughs> I'm going to go with the final story, man. So, um... It was my Apple. birthday. I was in um, Phoenix at this time, staying in Phoenix. It was my birthday, and everyone knew it was my birthday. Um, I worked for a big company. It's called Upgrade, like a credit card company. So it was a big, a lot of employees. Uh, it gave us lunch and shit, free lunches all the time, every day, actually. Um, yeah. So, yeah, like the group, like we had a little chat, you know, Google chat. Everybody, all the members that worked in the little department was in that shit. So um, they were like, happy birthday. It was my birthday coming up, you know. And uh, some guy there, he knows my birthday, hit me up. He was like, hey, bro, you want to uh, come down to my, my New Year's party? Because uh, my new birthday is on New Year's, January 1st. And I got high at that. Is anyone come to my New Year's party? Uh, we can do like kind of like birthday party, you know, New Year's party thing. I'm like, nah, I'm okay. I got plans with my cousins and shit. I know my cousin wants to be on hoes, so I'm like, nah, I don't think it's going to be hoes there. Uh, so I didn't go to the party. Then he was like, bro, Lisa, let me get you a gift, bro. I think, I think he was like, bi or something, bro. Maybe, I don't know, but he was just weird. Uh, shout out to you though For sure for, looking out, for, what, for what he did For what he did So he was like uh, Yeah He's like do you smoke Yeah I was like yeah I do uh, He's like do you drink I was like yeah He's like alright I'm gonna get you a bottle For your birthday I was like alright He's like I'm gonna get you a bottle And a blunt I said for sure He didn't want to bring it to work So what he did is uh, Some some chick uh, I, I, She didn't. She never gave me her name bro She never gave me her name But she added me on Snapchat This bitch was the only fans girl um, So on her Snapchat All you see is Ass, pussy, and you know, all this. You know what I'm saying? She, she's, she's trying to promote herself. She hits me up like, "Hey, uh, what are you doing tonight?" I'm like, I "Just got home from work." She's, uh, someone she's put, she put his name like she told me to drop you off. He told me her, his friend was gonna drop off the alcohol and the blunt. I didn't know what was gonna come next. <laughs> right, right, right. He sent some OnlyFans girl at my snack chat. She hitting me up, talking about, "Yeah, uh, I can drop it off tonight. Is that cool?" I'm like, "Yeah." And I was like, uh, she took like a while. And I'm like, where you at? She's like, I'm getting my throat ready. Um, I'm like, your throat ready? So in my head, I instantly hopped in the shower real quick. You know, <laughs> I'm like, it's about to go down. I ain't know what's going to go down, like how it went down, bro. But uh, she pulled up. She had the bottle. Uh, she took one of the joints. It's supposed to be two joints. Uh, she gave me a joint. I'm like, the other joint? She's like, ah, oh, I left it. She lied. She probably took that shit for herself. But anyways, yeah. uh, I grabbed the joints. I'm like, all right, uh, I'm about to cut. She's like, you don't want to, you don't want to smoke. I'm like, all right. We smoked in the back seat. I should have knew that was the first sign. We smoked in the back seat. She had a towel, uh, back there. So I thought it was just maybe because of the weed, you know, maybe because her car. Yeah. Damn. So that. she picks me up. I hop in her car. We drive to the back of the the, the apartment complex. We're in the parking lot still on the, on the complex. She's like, yeah, let's get in the back. I'm like, all right. So we started smoking. She didn't hit the blunt once. She just let me smoke. I'm like, so I'm just smoking by myself with this girl. We chopping it up. And all of a sudden, half the blunt, she just reaches over, pulls my shit out, starts going crazy. I'm like, dog, I don't know who this chick is. I accepted it though, bro. But that might have been the greatest 
<laughs> greatest head I ever got to this day. Shout out to the credit shout card out, dude. Bro. Shout okay. out to the shout out yeah, shout out to that nigga because he looked out for what he did. What what he sent? He didn't do that shit, but <laughs> the girl he sent over, bro, because that might have been the greatest hit in my fucking life, bro. I swear to God. And then what was so crazy about it? To give y'all some real spill on why it was the best. Um, she might be the only female. So I finished in her, not in her, but you know, in shit, in her mouth, but uh. <laughs> It feels so awkward on camera saying this, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I in, in her mouth. It's not, it's not even our vibe. But uh, man, <laughs> like I said, I finished in her mouth though, and uh, she she kept going. Like she did not allow me the chance to like, you know, like I I tried to, and she was like, like you feel me, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I just happened to go go right back up. I'm like, hmm. She just went right back at it again. I'm like, damn. Uh, <laughs> bitch, didn't, bitch didn't even come up for air or nothing I'm like the fuck and she was just like that whole experience was just so weird <laughs> to me cause like that's when I knew I never dealt with no real sluts before that was a real slut I'm talking about she talking about she told me to spit on her and call her this and that and smack her I'm like no that's not me that's, I'm like I'm, like, I'm not finna spit at you I'm like I'll talk shit but I'm like I'm not finna spit at you my yeah. shit talking I'm so lame I'm like I'm like yeah you like dick in your mouth you little dirty slut I'm talking I'm talking to her like this and she just kept going crazy when I said that shit I'm like bro what the fuck but anyways bro she 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 did that that's two crazy. times Second time she catch she had to go for the third time, but she was not trying to let it out her mouth. I'm like, no, I like legit I had to force this bitch off of me, and uh, yeah, man, it was, uh, yeah, man, it was a disaster, man. Uh, she was like, wipe yourself with the towel. I'm like, nah, and I did though, but it still got on my my, my jaws and shit. Cause I didn't have my jaws to my ankle, bro. So it was just. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, and then she didn't want to take me back in front of my complex. She, because the ex was right there, and she had to walk out from the back, pants a little wet. You feel me? I'm like, I got these wet ass shorts on, walking back. And what, to end the story, that's crazy, to end the bro. story, when we walked back out the car, said our goodbyes, she's like, let me kiss it. I'm like, I'm not gonna kiss you because she, she did some nasty shit. I'm, I'm not gonna kiss you. She said, no. She said, she said you're gonna, she said you're gonna leave without uh, letting me kiss it. I'm like, kiss it. But she's talking about me. I'm like, I'm not gonna kiss you. She said, no. Reach down, pull my shit out. I'm outside this time. She's in the driver's seat. I'm just walking up to her. She goes down, lifts my shit out, kisses it. Then I was like, just had to push her <laughs> I'm like, no, we're not gonna start again. I said, I said, hey, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Since that day, she hit me up, bro. She has kept hitting me up. I'm like, I'm not gonna go through this again because I'm like, That's I don't know crazy. who she is. I had to block her, had to move her off that shit. Hey man, GV podcast, man. <laughs> crazy times, man. Hey man, say man. Shout out to my boy Jay, man, for taking over today. Cause that shit, I, I haven't heard none of that shit actually. I never take it on the party. Damn, brother. Well, I know the, <laughs> the, the boys know I'd be on 2K. But that man. boy is demon time, bro. That's crazy. That's just a little of the stories, man. Hope y'all enjoy it. In confusion, man. To my left, the fly guy. I got the looking fly over there, man. You see me. I got no brace, man. Uh, how y'all how like the afro, by the way? I like the fro, man. It's looking cool. It's looking all right. Some females like it. Some females have look good with the braids. But I know I look okay regardless. So uh, thank y'all for tapping in. <laughs> <laughs> thank y'all for tapping in, man. It's been a beautiful journey. Um just stay tuned, honestly, man. We've been working with, uh, we're working on a lot of other shit, man. We're about to get this Twitch going. Uh, Wild Press, you already got it going. Y'all know that by Twitter. But uh, we got some nice ventures. I said ventures. <laughs> <laughs> nice ventures we're getting into. Uh, if y'all haven't already, subscribe to the personal page. That's where I'm dropping all my reaction videos, uh, public videos, just vlogs and shit. So y'all make sure y'all subscribe to that. Uh, follow both of us on Instagram. Links will be in the description. And, uh, Got any last thoughts? I'm just speechless. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. A lot Let I learned. Know. A lot I learned. A lot you learned about me? Man, yeah. these are stories Ben told you, brother, but appreciate you keeping them cool, nah, man. Nah, nah. Hey, man, say, man. <laughs> GB Podcast, Jalen GB, and Confusion, man. Thank y'all for having us. And I said having us. Thank y'all for watching us. And uh, we'll see y'all next week.
Boom. Yes, sir.